Hi folks, this is Soapbox here. Today we're going to take a look at the NS7 PDW. The NS7 PDW is a common pool SMG, which means that it's available across all factions. To buy it, it's going to cost you 1,000 certs or 700 station cash. If you buy it with station cash, it will be unlocked for every character on your account. The cheapest way to pick up the NS7 PDW is to buy the fresh meat starter pack. The pack will cost you $2. It will come with the NS7, Indar Dry Brush Camo, and a 3 day 50% EXP boost. This is by far the cheapest way to get the NS7 PW, and the Camo and Experience boost are a nice bonus. An interesting note about this weapon is how thin it is. It appears to be one of the thinnest weapons in the game, and after using the NS7 PW, all the other weapons appear very wide and seem to take up a lot of the screen. This has nothing to do with its ability to fight, just an interesting note. The NS7 PW has a rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute. This ties it with the VS Aridoni for the second slowest firing SMG in the game. The rate of fire is probably the biggest downside to this weapon and the reason why a lot of people tend to avoid it. On the damage side of things, the NS7 PW will do 125 damage out to 15 meters. This is an extremely long range for max damage, and will only drop off slightly to 100 damage out of 65 meters. On the chart, we can see the NS7 PW's damage compared with other SMGs. The blue line is the NS7 PDW. The orange line is the VS Aerodoni. The green line is a TR Armistice, and the red line is the NC Cycle. I would have liked to have added more SMGs, but the damage models end up overlapping, so you can only see one. The thing with Planetside 2 is that the battles are very fluid. Often, you will start fighting indoors, and then work your way outdoors. Or you will start outdoors, but know that you will soon be fighting indoors as you push an enemy into a tower or bits. When you are fighting at range, you often burst your weapons to stay accurate so the rounds per minute suddenly don't matter as much. This is where the weapon strength lies. The high bullet damage at range allows the NS7 PW to fight at ranges far past that of any other SMG. Here's a chart of the damage per second of a handful of SMGs. As you can see, up to the 20 meter mark, the other SMGs outclass the NS7 PW. But starting at the 20 to 23 meter range, the NS7 PW is just as good as any of the other SMGs. And anywhere past that 23 meter range, the NS7 will quickly start to outclass the other SMGs. This makes the NS7 PW a very versatile weapon. It is strong enough to hold its own in close quarter fighting, but it can easily adapt if the fighting moves outside. This weapon is surprisingly accurate for an SMG, which only works to complement its damage at range. The NS7 PW has a 0.05 bloom per shot, meaning that at longer ranges, bursting is necessary to maintain accuracy. It also has a 1.5 times first shot multiplier, which is the lowest of all the SMGs. This means the weapon will kick up only slightly more for the first shot, allowing you to easily stay on target when bursting. The weapon will pull up and to the left, but will occasionally jump to the right. The problem is that these jitters to the right are random and can't be compensated for, therefore limiting your effectiveness while aiming down sights. The NS7 PW also possesses a 0.75 times movement bonus while aiming down sights. This makes corn peaking very synergetic with this weapon and gives an overall more fluid feel. As far as accuracy from the hip goes, the NS7 has a very small cone of fire to start with. Attaching a laser sight will decrease this cone of fire even more, making hip firing a very viable option for the NS7 PW. The last thing to consider as far as accuracy goes is the bullet velocity. The NS7 PW has a bullet velocity of 400 meters per second, which ties it with the VS Sirius, the highest SMG muzzle velocity in the game. All this to say that the NS7 PW is an extremely deadly weapon in its respective range. It couples damage at range and surprising accuracy with a decent rate of fire, which makes it a very deadly and versatile weapon. Now to take a look at some of the other statistics. The NS7 PW 
has 30 rounds in the magazine and 210 rounds in reserve. This makes it the SMG with the most rounds in reserve. It has a short reload of 2.35 seconds, which puts it middle of the range as far as short reloads go on SMGs. But it has the shortest long reload of any SMG at 2.68 seconds. As far as attachments go, the NS7PW has access to scopes 1x through 4x as well as night vision optics. Due to the accuracy of this weapon, I prefer the night vision optics. They are very accurate and work well with this weapon's playstyle. Although, on the other hand, the 1 or 2x reflex sights are also very viable for this weapon. On the barrel, you can equip a compensator, flash suppressor, or a normal suppressor. My recommendation would be to run the suppressor or no barrel attachments at all. The suppressor is very useful if you are an infiltrator and getting behind enemy lines, which allows you to negate the downside of the suppressor. If you are not sticking around, then I would run no barrel attachments. Since this is a close to mid-range weapon, the red dot on the minimap will not matter since you are using your eyes to detect people rather than the minimap. I would not recommend running the compensator, as this weapon is already very accurate, and the larger starting cone fire is very hurtful, as you will often be firing from the hip. When it comes to rail attachments, the NS7PW has access to extended mags, dark flashlight, advanced laser sight, and a forward grip. My favorite attachments are the extended magazines and the advanced laser sight. You'll find yourself constantly having to reload and the extra 15 rounds with the extended magazines is extremely useful for extending times between those reloads or to help finish off enemies. The advanced laser sight will decrease your cone fire even more allowing you to be extremely accurate when firing from the hip. In all of my clips here, I am running the advanced laser sight. The only attachment I would not recommend would be the forward grip. This weapon has a very manageable recoil anyways, and the advanced laser sight or extended magazines much outweigh the forward grip. The NS7PW also has access to soft point ammo, which I would always suggest running on this gun. The NS7PW already has a high velocity, so the downsides of soft point ammo are easily negated. This is it for weapon stats. Now I want to give you some of my personal opinions on this weapon and an idea of how it plays. First off, you want to stay fighting in the ranges that are most effective for the NS7PW. You want to stay out of range of shotguns and other SMGs, but not so far away that you will start being outclassed by carbines and LMGs. This means staying in that 20 to 30 meter range. You can push the range by about 10 meters on each end if necessary, but this will be your most effective range. In general, I would stay away from a direct shootout with anyone. Chances are, unless they are injured or are a bad shot, they will win 9 times out of 10. This being said, I recommend going for headshots when you can. This weapon is accurate enough to pull off headshots at all but its furthest ranges and learning how to do so will greatly increase your survivability. While you can run this weapon on all classes, I think the class that benefits the most from this is the Infiltrator. All the other classes have weapons that are suited to mid-range. The Light Assault and Engineer have Carbines, the Heavy Assault has LMGs, and the Medic has Assault Rifles. The Infiltrator has access to Scout Rifles, but even those don't allow for mid-range engagement. This weapon allows the infiltrator to be deadly at mid-range while still being able to kill at close range. If you are looking for a mid-range weapon for your infiltrator, then this would be my recommendation. Overall, this is a very versatile weapon and close to mid-range and should suit most people well. If this video was helpful or enjoyable, please feel free to leave a like or subscribe for more videos like it. And if you have any thoughts or comments about the NSMPW, leave them in the comment section below. This is Soapbox, signing off.